What is this masculine power? It's an energy that all men have that's extremely powerful. If every man took a truth serum and he said exactly what he thought and he did exactly what he wanted and he kind of didn't give a fuck instead of just being like, you're beautiful. If what he was really thinking was like, oh my God, I would love to just like throw you down on this couch and fuck you right now or whatever. And it's like kind of raunchy and dirty, but that was what he was honestly feeling. That is attractive. So in this video, we are going to to be talking about truth serum masculinity and how it turns on women more than anything else. My name is Dalo. I just want to say thank you very much for 36 subscribers. This channel is growing slowly but surely step by step. And if you've tuned in, thank you very much for being a part of this channel. I want to teach you as much as I possibly can because you, my friend, you have everything that you need to be able to get the woman that you want. And I'm here to teach you. I have a nice candle here, so it's time for us to sit back and relax and you can learn a very valuable lesson here. Okay, so I'm about to dive deep into the depths of one of the most effective ways to turn on a woman. And now many men, maybe 99% of men, especially in the modern day age, they don't understand how to use this. You have to understand that life is an extreme paradox. The rules of the game are not what the common man thinks. The common man has almost zero understanding when it comes to the true nature of women. Now we all have intrinsic personal traits, but at our natural core, we are overly simple creatures. Now I discovered the key to magnetic masculine power through proxy of living a life that was risky and unorthodox. Guys, I want you to live your life in truth. And it doesn't mean what you think. Like if you're horny, for example, it is much better to tell her that you want to fuck. Like no joke, like if you're in person with her, you tell her I want to fuck you right now. Now that may seem creepy, that may seem strange, but you have to understand most guys when they're on dates with an attractive woman, this is what they're already thinking. And women have built-in detectors, right? So they mostly know when you, when you want to have sex with them. So why act weird and beat around the bush? They want you to make the move. They want you to unleash your true inner masculine power. Most women would never admit this, but this is the truth. Just like us men go crazy when women do certain things, women go crazy and become subservient when you tell them the truth. Never be afraid to say what's on your mind. The average man would be afraid to say he's a Trump supporter, for example. Now, let's say he's uh, he goes on a date with a girl in San Francisco and he tells the girl, I'm a Trump supporter. Most men would never do that because they're afraid, because they fear that the woman won't like them. Now, I know men that can't stop fucking talking about Andrew fucking Tate. But when they go on a date with a woman, they won't even bring him up. And the reason why they don't bring him up is because they're afraid. Now, I don't like Andrew Tate. This is not about Andrew Tate, for example. This is just being who you are naturally, talking about what you want to talk about, not hiding behind a persona or a fake mask, trying to impress people. You simply just don't give a fuck. If you've seen Fight Club, Think about Tyler Durden. He doesn't give a flying fuck. You speak your goddamn mind for fuck's sake. What do you have to lose? Absolutely nothing. You have far more to gain by speaking your mind than by suppressing it. Every time you suppress the truth within yourself, you are also suppressing your masculinity at the exact same time. I'll say that again. Every time you suppress the truth within yourself, you are also suppressing your masculinity at the exact same time. Now, women love it when a man isn't afraid to speak his mind. They go batshit insane for it. Why? Because it's so rare these days. I already told you how easy the modern dating world is once you understand the fundamentals. Do you get it now? Men say that we need to bring back masculinity, but I love that there's no competition out here and you should too. So every time that I'm on a date personally, I never hold back. I say what I want to say. Doesn't matter how woke or how liberal the woman may appear to be to me. I still say whatever I feel. Now, a lot of the times the woman might respond in disgust, but her disgust, that feeling is temporary because deep inside, she's actually growing attraction towards you. She's like, wow, finally a man that fucking says his mind, this is rare. You have to understand that women are constantly testing us. They're testing our masculinity. And by saying things like, oh, I hate when men do this, et cetera, et cetera, they're shit testing you. Just be yourself, speak the truth, and the woman will grow attraction for you. It's truly that fucking simple. Stop trying so hard. Stop trying to logicize a winning strategy. This is why the game guys don't get very far. You have to be authentically you. You have to tell her what's truthfully in your mind at all times. Once you tap into this, you will open incredible windows of opportunity for yourself. And that's what I truly want for all of you guys. This is your life. And as Tyler Durden says, 
It's ending one minute at a time. You have to speak your mind no matter what. And if you don't know who you are inside, like let's say you're really struggling to, to find who you are. That does take time to build, but there are certain things that you are suppressing. And you're suppressing them because you're afraid of rejection. And you have to understand, just like getting rich, you can never get a high reward if you don't take a big risk. The same applies with women. You will never get great women and you'll never get women to fall in love with you and be attracted to you if you don't let it all out there. Take the risk and trust me, once you realize, once you start speaking your mind, you start getting into that flow of things, no matter who it is, because no one can put a chain on you, you start to realize very quickly, wow, women are actually more attracted to me than ever before. I thought it would be quite the opposite. So you have to understand that life is full of paradoxes, right? So a lot of the times we think we're supposed to be doing one thing, but really we're supposed to be doing the other thing. And so we always think that, okay, if I speak my mind, everyone's gonna fucking hate me. But at the end of the day, it turns on women like nothing else. And everyone is so afraid, especially if you live in America, or a Western country, everyone is terrified to speak their mind right now. They may speak their mind online behind a keyboard and they may feel like, oh, they're a proponent of free speech. They're not. You only are an advocate of free speech if you can do it in person, in front of the most like cancel culture type of women. And you'll start to see quickly that you're actually saving these women from that toxic mentality. They want a man to speak his mind. It is the most attractive trait for any female. And I don't care what a female says, if any females are watching this, you guys know deep down innately that that is what you're most attracted to. If I'm on a date with you and nothing's creepy, everything's going well and you're looking me in the eye, you're giving me that look and I'm feeling it. It's all about feeling, right? I'm gonna say, okay, let's go back to my place. I wanna fuck your brains out. As simple as that. That, that may sound disgusting, it may sound impolite, but you have to understand at the end of the day, guys, we are animals to the core. And once you tap into that animalistic nature, the dating world is yours forever. So peace out and I hope that you live your life in truth.